A very, very warm welcome to the CDP Awards Europe 2024. We need to activate everybody in this room to be the architects of our sustainable future, to move the money. Today, meeting leaders from the business, financial and government sector to ask, how do we move the money at the pace and scale required to keep that 1.5 alive? In Turku, we have very holistic approach to whole climate issues. We want to think it's not only the reduction of the emissions, but it's also the strengthening the biodiversity and, and enhancing the circular economy. Investors, you know, which were more sustainability driven, has helped you know, us also be encouraged in valuing some of the things that we are doing. I'm really excited to be here at the CDP Europe Awards. Uh, it's a night for celebration. It's a night to actually really take account of the hard work that's been going on from companies across Europe and we have a huge number of winners so I'm delighted to be here. We are very happy because for the second year in a row we won the AAA and we are there not only to celebrate also but to, to listen with colleagues, you know, to discuss with colleagues, to see what we can do better and to be sure that we get you know, next year again the AAA. Being AAA for the eighth consecutive year in a row is a great source of pride for all the company. We have 90,000 employees and they're all extremely engaged towards our sustainable journey. And of course, being recognized by such a renowned company like uh, CDP really matters to us. I think that when CDP started 23 years ago, we had to really encourage the fact that data and transparency and disclosure was an important part of how we manage climate change. We don't anymore. Actually now, there are companies who are really pushing the envelope and really trying to make sure that their disclosures are complete and fulsome. That is actually incredibly important so we can measure and we can manage. And that's the way that we can make positive climate change. You cannot, you know, walk the talk if you're not able to measure exactly what you are doing. And this is extremely important also in the way we decide. You know, when we do, in our industry, you do a lot of innovation, a lot of renovation. The fact that we're able to measure the true CO2 emission is absolutely paramount in order to be sure we make the right choice and we make the right decision. We are very keen on benchmarking ourselves with others. And it's just great to see that we are at the forefront of our industry. The CDP disclosure is making sure that we stay on track in Copenhagen. Um, the way that we keep working together with international organizations is a way that we can make sure that we benchmark ourselves with other cities around the globe. And this means that the ideas, the innovation that we do in Copenhagen is also possible to scale up in other cities. And we couldn't do that without data and we could not do that without CDP. And maybe this is going to sound a little geeky, but on one of the panels earlier, someone said that they had fallen in love with disclosing climate data. Uh, and, and I think that's amazing because actually climate data isn't just a nice to have. It's not only about compliance or mandatory <laughs> disclosures. It's about actually servicing your core business. It's about retaining customers. It's about making sure that your talent and your employee base are basing their decision to stay with you on real data. It's about making sure that your investors have the information they need. I'm pretty excited about that. 